If you own land, more than likely you've got weeds. And so it's the responsibility of landowners to control noxious weeds, as well as other weeds that might affect your cropping economics. When you're storing chemicals, it is to be behind locked doors, and you're also asked to uh, put a, a signia or a sign up that indicates the pesticides are behind that locked door. This avoids anybody from getting in and maybe um, taking it or kids getting uh, in close contact with it, that type of thing. So also, we're doing chemical pickup. And uh, as you come to pick up your chemical, make sure that you store it on the back of your um, vehicle, uh, out in the open, um, so you, instead of inside of the car. Um, also make sure that if you're using flatbed pickups or trailers, that you secure your load and you do not um, lose that in, in transport. Another mistake that we've seen is uh, leaving your chemical unattended. Um, if you're going to go out to your field and make an application, um, many of people have uh, basically chemical trucks that they store them in and they leave them unattended for long periods of time. Um, and there's been mishaps of chemical getting stolen or if you really don't have neighbors that like you, there's been cases of people putting chemical in your spray tank kind of as a bad prank. It's your responsibility to keep that chemical under lock and key and under your control at all times. Another one to keep in mind is that um, always store the chemical in its original containers and you want those container labels to be facing outward so everybody knows where, uh, what chemical that they are exposed to. Also, when you're handling chemicals or transporting chemicals, make sure that you do have um, the proper safety equipment. In the event that there's a spill, you wanna make sure that you've got some cat litter or some, some, uh, some chemical to kind of absorb the, the spill. And then if it is significant enough that you report that to the poison control center and assist with um, control to your attempts to clean that, that mess up. Again, we hope that everybody has a safe spring season. And uh, if you have questions, you're always welcome to contact the, your local extension office.